What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video. Today we're gonna be playing with Tord Ratcliffe's original winning Mewtwo list. This Mewtwo list is very unique, I've never seen anything like it and that's of course a typical thing for Tord Ratcliffe to be countering everything and just winning events. He also is a legend in the community and uh, it's uh, very nice to see Mewtwo with a specific twist. This is gonna be running of course Mewtwo as we know it with the perfection ability, being able to copy any attack from any GX on our bench or in the discard pile. Very versatile as we've been using with Solgaleo to use Turbo Strike getting energies from the discard pile of course the Espeon and the Oxus cross division very scary for one prize attacking decks we have the Tac Purging Latios to be sure that tag teams won't be able to hit us we have the Nagradel to be able to uh, Venom Shot on the bench getting cheap prize cards on that of course the, the Dene GX which only has 160 HP we have a Reshazard here with Double Blades going through any effects and Flare Strike with the uh, great vanilla damage output of 230 damage we also also have the Macargo in here because with Lava Flow can also get huge KOs but Burning Magma also gets uh, an MVP award uh, if you're up against stall decks that means we can deck the stall deck out if they are only have five cards left in their deck we have the uh, Charizard here with Flare Bliss going through of course any tag team with 300 damage which is insane so uh, that is gonna be versatile with Mewtwo not only that we're gonna have this Greninja finally seeing it play we've seen it in the rainbow build but this time around there's one copy of the water energy in this list to be able to use Miss Slash that means you can go through Caldeos if need be and also go through any effects on the opponent's Pokemon but 130 damage is also nice for targets like Giratina for instance. We're gonna be running of course this is where things go crazy for the Dene. For the Dene. This is the first list that we're gonna be seeing with for the Dene. Tord Reklev is of course the master of consistency. We've seen it before with a Zoroark build and uh, this time around the Dene is where it's at. So I uh, do expect the price of the Dene to go up a little bit and uh, that means we're gonna be using the Dene to get our supporters. Which supporters do we have? We have Wilder, the most broken card uh, that ever since it got released to attach those fire energies. We have Ratch Challenge. We haven't seen this card in action just yet, but it discards two cards from the hand and then you can select any card from your deck. This uh, in combination with the versatility can get you whatever you want. And uh, we're also gonna be seeing Shadinja. That's where Tord took it to the next level. Typically, if you see Mewtwo, you're like, oh yeah, I have to go through two Mewtwo's and I win the game. This time around, just scratch that uh, strategy because with the Vessel of Life, the opponent will take one less prize card if Shadinja is equipped to attack team or actually to any Pokemon whatsoever. But Mewtwo Mew becomes a two prizer, and that is gonna be crazy because it means they will need to knock out three tag teams or maybe two tag teams and then it. But yeah, that means they leave your Mewtwo's alone, right? We have, of course, Marshadow in here together with five stadium cards. That means even if they smack down Power Plan, the chance of us drawing into a supporter or, of course, uh, one of the uh, ways to get our um, uh, Marshadow will be, of course, communication. Also nice to just get Nincadas on board or just find that correct Pokemon. So, Giant Heart, we got used to it already, getting the fire energies from the deck and also... Lysander Labs. I know what you're saying, Lysander Labs and Shadinja in the same deck, this is, doesn't work out. Well, that is uh, where you're wrong. You could smack down Lysander Labs and out of nowhere where you're saying like, oh, now he's about to knock me out. You can use Marsha to get rid of the Lysander Labs or overlap it with a giant heart. Lysander Labs is purely in here for the Guardian matchup or maybe even for the uh, Giratina spell tag matchup because against Malamar, if they have spell tags, you can use Lysander Labs get rid of the effect of the spell tech, it's fantastic. Also, will help out against those Reshizar builds with their escape boards. Uh, Jirachi always wants to use Stellar Wish. Well, in this scenario, they're gonna be uh, definitely shaking their boots because Lysander Labs is life. And against Guardian, you go through the Fairy Charms is what, exactly what you want. Reset Stamp, two copies of that in here. Finally seeing some respect for the Reset Stamp because Reset Stamp will uh, actually get, of course, uh, the comeback mechanic here. And uh, if you're actually having a terrible start, you can use Reset Stamp and with the versatility of Mew to Mew, you'll definitely find your way. And uh, then for the energies, you might say, okay, Power Plan is the weakness. Remove that weakness because of all those uh, stadium cards. Well, the weakness is still Psychic. Well, we can also get rid of that. You could play Jirachi GX, but Thor Reckless said, nah, 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 nah. Let's play Weakness Guard Energy because it is an attachment of the turn, which you always want to get rid of Welder. So it doesn't ma matter in the end. And it also gets rid of your weakness. And since nobody's playing uh, Enhanced Hammers, uh, Special Energies are safe. So that is the list. It also runs Hapu for uh, those uh, dig potentials. If you want to find your Reset Stamp or find your Shedinja at the correct time, that is gonna be where it's at. 
So yeah, very exciting to be seeing this crazy new deck and uh, I'm so excited to be playing around with this uh, for you guys. Hopefully you guys are also going to enjoy this video. If you did uh, or actually are already liking the video, be sure to demolish the like button. That helps out the channel tremendously. And a big shout out to Limitless GCG for uh, streaming the event. So it was nice to seeing that deck in action. This time around, we are going to test it out for ourselves and see why this is the regional winning deck. Also, huge shout out for Tor Radcliffe. He is actually the master right now. Yeah, a lot of people look up to him, including me, because his uh, accomplishments just go on and on and on. So, Fire, Psychic, Dragon, Lightning, if I had to guess, is this Rash's Art ability. Could also be Blounds. And we lost the Coin Flip, which means we can attack first. So if we can find Solgaleo and find a Welder, we're definitely going to be having an awesome time to go through the opponent. And we don't have anything. No Basics whatsoever so the opponent will get an extra card unless we don't draw basic again he has mewtwo sleeves is this gonna be a mewtwo mirror find out while the opponent is selecting uh, their pokemon we are actually gonna have to see what strategy we're gonna have to uh, accomplish in this kind of scenario oh wow what a terrible hand right there Okay, we have a Mewtwo, so hopefully our tag, top deck is either a Pokemon or a Welder. <laughs> Otherwise, we will be... Or a Cherish Ball, or a Dene. So a lot of top decks are possible. Oh, the Dene. A uh, Dene start. Full Art the Dene, nevertheless. Acrobax. Okay, Rash's Art ability. I'm saying it right now. Fire Energy, so yeah. Smack down your Jirachi. Smack down your Vulpix. And do whatever you want. Oh, treasures. I'm wrong. This is Mewtwo. <laughs> I was so wrong. Acrobike. Okay. It is the Mewtwo list. Mewtwo versus Mewtwo. One with Shedinjas. And maybe the other one without. I see treasure. So this is going to be a Mewtwo mirror. We have the weak guard energy. So don't have to care about the weakness. This full art is just so amazing. It's the one from the tins here. So he gets the first turn welder for two or for one? One, two, ah, dang it. He has everything. He has a Mewtwo, he has a welder onto it, but he starts with a Dennis. So at least that gives us one more turn, unless he finds the switch. Also in his discard pile, only Naganadel for now. And yeah, only Naganadel for now. So we're kind of safe. He cannot one shot us, unless he finds that Charizard. That Charizard for 300 damage would be insane so we might even get done if we don't draw a good top deck so three energies already looking very scary okay cherish ball saving the day as always so with that in mind let's get ourselves the Dene. also gonna check out here there is Sogaleo we could attach fire energy but there's still a lot of fire in the deck six of them so I think we're gonna go for the weak guard energy so that the opponent also attach a fire energy actually the psychic energy find a welder and go for crazy tag purge but that is just wishful thinking i think i'm gonna go for this since we can get back the uh, basic energies regardless so go with the Danny, and the Danny will find us something hapu okay mm -hmm. we can have a communication going around communication and a hapu now yeah, let's go for the hapu first and what do we want at the Danny for next turn? Seems legit. Hey, a welder. That, that is always great to see welders there. There's also a switch going around, so we don't have don't have what we need actually. Welder will mm, will welder work out. That it depends if he gets the uh, the giant heart out. We can also get a second Mewtwo. Switching around to the Dene to just stall a little bit. I wonder. I think I'm gonna go for this strategy. And uh, we are actually gonna be getting a communication on. And get rid of... What do we don't want? Yeah, we could have also used this GX move. Put one Pokemon all cards. But uh, eh, we didn't know if we were gonna get that. So let's use communication get Ninkata on board. And with Ninkata, if we evolve it, we also have a switch mechanic going around. So let's get this. And we might even slap down the Latios. Latios hits for weakness. 
I'm gonna wait with the Latios and see how we go. We definitely wanna be seeing Shedinja next turn, so let's go for this strategy. If he knocks out our... We have weak guard energy, so the only thing he wants is like the Charizard and the Discard Pal. Okay, he's definitely gonna be seeing that Charizard 300 damage and we're definitely gonna be screwed. Yeah, here it is, Charizard 300 damage. Hmm. What now? What now? Okay. Our Mewtwo still hits for weakness though. Same goes for the stack purging Latios, but it only dishes out 120 damage. Which got gets me a little bit concerned. I wonder. Maybe we should not have gotten the welder. He's gonna go for the attach of the turn. He even has a switch, so in this scenario, I don't even know if we're gonna win. It doesn't look like it, but we have reset stamp. So if we can manage to get a crazy KO on this guy, we might happen to do some stuff. Energy recycle system. He's gonna get the fire and he attaches it, and then he's gonna use that GX move, 300 damage. Although he still needs to get that Charizard in the discard pile. Maybe he has another Cherish Ball or Dedenny in hand, if I had to guess. Hmm. Okay, fire energy in the hand. Is he ha Does he find a way to get him in the discard? Okay, he has Dedenny. Oh boy. We are so in a disadvantage already. Using that Happel in the first turn. No Welder. So rough. We don't even have Sogaleo in the discard yet. We do have an Inkala. So at least we have that. And we have a way to stamp him to tree. Which will help out. Because now he's going to have a huge amount of cards in the hand. Getting so many prize cards. Hopefully we can get a Mewtwo on board. Which I should Dinja equipped it. That is going to be the main goal. Now, two welders really, really now. So this attachment will not work. So we're just going to go for Heavy Dedenne. Come on, Mewtwo, where you at? Okay, we have Mewtwo. And we have nothing to work with. What is this? Nothing to work with. Hmm. Reg challenge, I guess. Hmm. Signing the fire energy on the Mewtwo. Okay. Danny for next turn. Giant hardened right now, so we can get that one single energy. <sighs> huh. This is not working out, guys. We could stamp him, but still, we need that one energy attachment so we can respawn with a 300 damage knockout. And right now, <laughs> we are just breaking so hard. No welders we, which we can use. How are we gonna come back from this game? Who knows? We can stamp him. He could welder on the second Mewtwo. He could do that. The thing we wanna do is get all the weak, weak guard energies are also gone, so it's looking very scary to say the least. Latios. Is he gonna tag purge? If he tag purges, what do we do at this point? There's actually nothing we can do at this point. We can attack with the Greninja. Go through the effects. That's only hitting 130 though. Ah. We are struggling so hard against this mirror. Definitely going to be playing another, another round here because this looks insane. Could have also like used the Wretch Challenge to stamp him but still. That would have not accomplished anything since we need to do Danny. We have a terrible hand. Now it looks like we're getting wrecked here. He also is getting ready for a huge. Uh, does he have the Solga? He just needs to bench that Latios, I guess. No, Turbo Strike it is. Turbo Strike it is. Now we need to stamp him. 
So we have the weak guard energy, which is fantastic. This is fantastic. So now we need to find a, a welder and we need to find the Charizard. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, he just says ha suddenly hello. <laughs> hello. Okay. Wow. Nothing to do here. Nothing to do. Two of these. And we don't even have to reset that. What is this? What is this? Still needs two prize cards, so these <laughs> this Ninkata becomes irrelevant. Also gonna get rid of this giant heart while we can. And he presumably will use that uh, Venom Shot to get rid of our Didani. So yeah, that is it. Well played. Even though we can attach some energies, it is irrelevant since we have the most terrible draws in the world. So let's be playing another game because I don't think you'll see the power of this deck in this single match against Mewtwo where uh, we get nothing. These Geo Shuffles happen. I'm just not gonna ignore that first game. I'm just gonna go to game two against uh, Pikaran. See how we go against Pikaran. Tails, we won the coin flip. So at least we got to showcase a game where we go first and we get stuff. We get Mewtwo, we get Ninkata, so this is what you want. This is the dream start. The dream start right here. Yeah, we can get both Ninkatas on board, Cherish Ball for whatever attacker we want, which is presumably, and even a Mewtwo, wow. This is way better. Way better than game one. So we Cherish Ball and get Sogaleo. Yeah, Aspion Deoxys is in there. And two Shedinja, which is nice. Also gonna be uh, using the Denny right now and getting rid of the fire energy in the hand since we won it in the discard to use Turbo Strike. What is this? Well, we're just gonna attach the Psychic Energy because that helps out with the attack of Macargo if need be. And we can also start using Miracles Dual GX at some point. That's gonna be our first turn. To Ninkata, to Mewtwo, and uh, we are also having a great way to attack now, 120. So if he goes with Jirachi or Zapdos, he dashes to the Zapdos immediately. If we can get Shedinja on board, our Mewtwo's both become two, uh, two prizers. Oh boy. Yeah, I think about that, for la that last game we had and it's just insane what we drew. And now we draw immediately like great stuff so we can start attacking and like game one was just eh. I don't know. Did Thor get that? But it's still, and a tournament is the best of three. So if we don't brick, it's good. Lily. This is the Lily build, not the judge build. I would have wished it was the judge build so he could uh, get me some uh, better cards in the hand. He's going immediately for a Zapdos with the Thunderous Assault and the Golden Lightning Energy. Reminds me of the days of, uh, yeah, Jirachi Zapdos, where I was on stream against uh, a very skilled player. So the thing here is, I miss Zapdos Jirachi so much here. It was one of the best decks ever. And now it's become a little bit outclassed by the tag teams. Wow, everything is gold. This guy has a lot of great stuff. Great Jirachi, which we can knock out with, of course, sniping. Thanks to the Geoxys. So, 70 damage with Electro Power, 110 damage. That means with a full Blitz, he still needs another one of those. So, we have the Denny again. Not looking, not looking bad. So, in this instance, we attach here and we Denny. Only one the Daniel left in the deck. Even the prize cards are against us. But yeah, the good news is that Mewtwo can always go for crazy attacks, so. Do we go for Shedinja? I guess. We can Cherish Ball and then Shedinja. We even have Hapu. Since we don't have Welder once again. Uh, Lysander Labs for his Jirachi. Nah, we need to find Welder. And <laughs> here we have Welder. And an energy. I guess all the rest is irrelevant. 
Yeah, Elder Rest is irrelevant. We have a Cherish Ball in the hand, so we can use Cherish Ball. Find whatever we please, and then communication it for the Shedinja. Yeah, I guess that's the right play. And leaving that Charizard in the hand so we can discard it if we get a Giant Heart. Yeah, here goes Shedinja. So our Mewtwo will only give up two prize cards. We get a prize card immediately. And even if he knocks us out, we can stamp him. And we have another Mewtwo ready, which can copy the attack of Charizard, which we have in the hand. And the opponent doesn't know. Bam, Shedinja is live. He could have lives in our laps, but that means our stamp only becomes stronger. Turbo Strike, get right out of here, Zapdos. <laughs> Never thought I'd, see, I'd say that. So what do we need? We need a fire energy for the... Do we need a fire energy for the attack cost? Not at all. We only need like, we can get these, I guess. Also, Flare Strike is very powerful. Do we need even, yeah, we need the Psychic for Venom Shots later down the line. I don't think we need the Water Energy since we go through anything anyhow. So let's get these two on the Mewtwo so they have both the same amount of energies. And now a prize card, let it be, what do we want? Communication? Hi, Giant Heart, yeah. Welder and Giant Heart to get rid of the Charizard. Our, our combo is completely now in our hand. This is how the deck functions. He can KO us and we can have a, get a huge KO on the speaker. Arm. Let's say he gets everything. He gets the Thunder Mountain in play, which means if he gets the Thunder Mountain, he doesn't get the license laps. That means he only gets two prize cards. And prize race trade is gonna be fantastic. This is how the deck should function. Not like in game one. Oh, Absol. Spicy deck. Probably for Malamar or Ability Zard against everything that has a Jirachi. Communication. All these cards are so shiny. Tapu Coco Prism Star. So he has the Coco. He needs two energy switches at this point. In order or the Thunder Mountain. I'd, I love it if it was a Thunder Mountain. Still no judge, so that means our combo is in the hand. He doesn't know he's gonna get blown up. His Picaron will not survive. This insane hit of 300 damage. Could also go for Macargo, but we're gonna use that later. Stellar Wish. What will he find from Stellar Wish? Hmm. What does he need actually? Electro Power? Or energy switches? Electromagnetic Radar? Okay. Dance of the Ancients, getting energies probably to Zera Aura and Picaram. Picaram and Zera Aura getting filled with energies. Now he only needs one energy switch. Okay, there is the energy switch. And he can come in with a full blitz. Does he have the electric power? Electromagnetic radar. He's getting rid of communications. He's gonna see the Denny and Raichu. Oh, Picaram wants to go for the huge attack of the tag ball so i do an oh no the resets them no we had the complete combo in hand now we don't we don't have welder ah stamped we got stamped out of this game unless we draw welder it is over although three energies now you, you need to find it we need to find it Ah, why? We had welder in hand. Why can't we find the welders? <laughs> Dag bolt. Do we survive though? Does he have the electro power? Did he already use it? Hopefully we survive. I think we deserve that after this reset stamp. Yeah, we res we deserve it. We uh, survived this hit. Ow. I'm actually, I don't know how to feel. Maybe glad, maybe I'm not. I would love to have that cute, cute combo. We already have it in the hand. So now we can use uh, Red's Challenge to get it immediately. He could stamp us again though. Hapu! We can Hapu. Or we can Red's Challenge to make sure we get the combo. But Hapu, all these welders are still in the deck. So I think Hapu is the most logical choice. Oh boy, this again. Giant Heart. Stamp. Maybe Communication. Communication and stamp. Communication and giant heart. We don't have any Dedennis left in the deck. So we, maybe we should tin the deck out. 
But there's two stamps in here. Oof. Let's get these two on board. We don't actually need it anymore. So. Now. Recommunication. Ninja Tag Birch could be nice. Tag Birch could be nice. That means we cannot get hit, but he could have Tag Switches. Oh boy. Could have Tag Switches. could have like two insane KOs, but we have the stamp already ready. Mm. Unless we tag Birch, that means we are safe and only the Denny dies. I see. Let's get this on board. Attach goes over here and uh, we tag Birch. Because that means we can two-shot him while also being invincible for tag teams. Now he needs to find tag switch. Tag switch and an energy. That means he has to come with zero aura. Hmm, was that the best plan of action though? Huh. I wonder. What if we knock out zero aura? I don't know. I don't know what the best plan of action is. We can still... Reset stamp him, I guess. You can also tag bolt to get KO Latios. Okay. What are we gonna see? Power plant. Oh, this is sad. We're gonna get planted. But oh, we do have Red's challenge in the hand. What did you already get away? Switching to the Dene. Oh yeah, the Denny can attack. The Denny can attack us. Dad, no, what is this? Tingly return GX? No! We're gonna get Tingly return GX. Oh boy. Wow. Never thought I'd see the day. I think this deck is just insanely hard to play with. He only gets two prize cards though, but wow. Is Nagadal already in the discard pile? No! Oh boy. Oh boy. So to get rid of the Dene, we can use the GX move. Then Mewtwo is safe. Still has Custom Catcher, so he can still have this game locked and loaded. Don't see any of them just yet. And we promote the... Latios GX with free retreat. <laughs> okay. Let's get this on board. Sedinja. And we don't have the Danny anymore. Which is sad. Hmm. Really want to stamp this guy. And we also cannot get rid of this power plant here, unless we go for this. Mm -hmm. Need to be getting rid of that stadium card right now. <laughs> Four welders in the deck, really. Yeah, I know Dennis whatsoever. Counter Stadium or Marshadow. I think Marshadow might be better. And now we stand. Retreat to Mewtwo. And uh, we could use the Vessel of Life, but it's not going to help us out too much. Not going to help us out too much with the, the match. 
Yeah, might as well equip it. We'll see how it goes. We can use clear vision here. So he cannot use the GX move. Turbo strike. Although we could also, if we find like a welder or whatever, things could be turning out fine. Psychic and fire on the Latios. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of energies on board. He still has attack switch. If he has the attack switch and the attachment of the turn, he could damage the Mewtwo and knock out the, the Dene or the Latios. Look at our hand. It's terrible. We don't even have a hand. But if we can somehow use attack purge once more, I don't know. We can still, our, all our Dene's are threats, so I don't know. Why this deck is so good? Maybe I'm just terrible at it. Uh, if he has a Voltner, he can do stuff. Although, how many energies here? Two in the discard, two here, two there, two there. Oh, wow. Tingly return GX. We are paralyzed. Paralyzed and nothing to do. We have another Mewtwo. Okay, two energies. Will we survive? We have 220 HP. 220. That means Zero Aura with a bunch of Electro Powers. Or... Bigger arm with, I don't know, how many electric powers do we have left? Three. So many cards in the hand. We even stamped him, so not fair, man. Now we have access to Charizard. If he comes with a huge Pika arm, we have access to the Charizard. Also, he still has that four prize card, so that Shedinja will help out a ton, unless he plays Lysander Labs. Electromagnetic Radar again. So bad that we prize one the Dene. So playing four is the correct move here. What is this hand? And where are all welders? Man, there's 13 cards left in the deck and four of them are welder. Can you believe that? I certainly can. <laughs> so he found the Thunder Mountain. That means he has... Probably access to the no one electro power, two electro power, the Dene, two electro powers. We'll get him. He needs a tech switch and an energy switch or an energy or whatever. Two electro powers that means he smacks 80, 210. Ooh. There could be an electro power prize or one left in the deck. Like my four welders in my deck. He's getting rid of so many cards here. Everything's shiny. Everything's shiny. Maybe he's going for custom catchers. Energy switch. To this speaker arm, okay. Custom catch. Drawing a lot of cards. He only has one card left in the deck. The only thing we need to do is like Macargo GX for a game. <laughs> What is he doing? Oh, he finds his electric power. Wow. Okay. He really wanted to KO us, so that was it. So I don't know what he's doing, but he decked out and uh, we won the game. Yeah, presumably. So yeah, anyhow, let me know what you think about this Mewtwo deck. It's very fun to play with. I still need to practice a little bit and uh, see how the dead draws and all work. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think about it. And a huge shout out to Tor Brackley for winning in all the regionals. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button and subscribe for more content. See you guys later. Peace out.